What up, YouTube? It's your man, DJ A1. I'm in the building again. Mr. A1 made the beat. We're going to start up something new. We're going to start up a series. I'm going to take you out through the entire process of making a song on the force. So what we're going to do today, we're going to go ahead. We're going to start with making the drum track. Then from there, we're going to go to making a melody, maybe adding a sample or two. Then from there, we're going to go to recording an artist into it. And from there, we're going to go into mixing it. All right? So stay with me for the process. All right? Because I'm going to show you what we do. All right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set up our pads because I know how I like mine. So we're gonna go to single pad configuration. <laughs> Done with that. So actually, now I think about it. Let's do this. Let's add another. Let's add a plug in, because I already know uh, kind of what kind of sound I want to use. I'm going to try not to use my keyboard, okay? I'm going to try to use just the pads. So let's go um, clip, four bars. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, let's find some sounds. Okay. It's on the hype by default. Let's see. Nope. All right, let's uh shift note config. Let's put that on uh right. I created a kit, y'all remember that? Just so that you see, boom. That was the kit I built. Dope kit, by the way. Um, actually, you know what? I think I might just go ahead and package this and include this kit. Um, so be looking for a link when I upload this video. This kit will be in there. It's a pretty dope kit, okay? Um, but I put all my drum sounds in it, kick, snares, hi-hats, different hi-hats, some other sounds that I didn't quite use, some claps, a rim shot, that sub, you hear it, that crash, um, and something I meant to cover on the other video, a hi-hat loop that I warped, okay? If you don't know how to warp, if I get some comments saying show, show you how to warp in the force, I'll pull it up, okay? But anyway, so I built this drum kit that you see right here. I built that. I just knocked it out. It was fairly simple. Fairly simple. When you put those together, you get this. All right. So now, the cool part next, next was I had Sun over here, all right? And it was time for us to record some vocals. And we did. I should be able to navigate without actually activating it. <laughs> you see vocals in there? Let me show you how to do this because this caused me an hour and a half of frustration because it did not cover it in the book, in the user guide, nor did it cover it on the video, okay? The video, this is how they do it. The promo video that's on a Kai Pro, this is how they do it. They go to menu, they go to mixer, input, they make it active. The insert output, then they go to input and they set it. They select monitor and then they go back to the matrix and they launch, record arm, and then press the track to start recording. This is the way I ended up finding out how to do it. Shit, I don't remember how we did it. Ah, yeah, I do. <laughs> Press the plus icon. You see the audio track? Don't select that. Press advanced. This menu comes up. That's not in the user manual, and it's not on any of the videos. But you see the whole setup is there. Audio, input, which input you're using. The mic. We plugged my uh, Slate via uh, ML1 directly into the back in channel one. 
So we selected channel one. We record enabled it. We put the monitor on. We only needed one track. And that was it. That's how we did it. Okay? So, did that, and we got this. Yeah. Son, I'm a, Yeah? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Creativity. That was a test. I said, you know what? Let's keep it. Let's just put it on loop. We put it on a four bar loop. I'm sorry, two bar loop and just kept coming back around. I added, uh, hold on, let me tell you, show you what I put on there. What mixer? I put an auto pan on there. You see, it's the same way you get to the NPCs stuff. I put an auto pan on there and I put a filter on there. That was it. So it added effect to the beat. right we did that and we can understand how we did it <laughs> because it was not following anything that we had read so after an hour and a half we figured it out and I just had him record a quick few bars because he was getting ready to leave so he recorded a quick few bars for me you probably see it in one of the boxes right now uh, what he did um, but this is what he recorded yeah Rolling good gas, smoking rig loud. I be riding around on your side of town. You Not see, that's side. all the effects. Got the side in the side piece. Am I ride thick and thighs when I, yeah. That's all the effects. He's actually a lot better than that. I just had him just do something on there for me. I put the air channel strip on it. I put the uh, Kai Opto compressor on it. Uh, I put the EQ with the two shelves and two QEQs on it. And there's a XY FX on there, but I can't seem to record the automation on it. I don't know why. Uh, that's another issue. But anyway, so, but when you put it all together. Yeah, rolling good gas, smoking rig loud. Rolling good gas, smoking rig loud. I'll be riding around on your side of town. I know you're wondering where that piano come from. It was on my next chain. But because how they do clip launch, I was able just to select any random pad that's active and it'll be included in whatever's playing. So that's how a clip launch works, okay? And I don't know if you notice it, I'm not pressing these to press play. I'm pressing the button that says launch. And then the last thing, I just added another audio, not audio, another plugin, found a piano off of one of the uh, installed VST plugins and That's how I did it, okay? That's how I did it, that's how I put it together. Um, I really wish I could have broke this down for you guys a lot more. Um, but if you got any questions on it, I have no problem showing the settings, um, telling you guys what I did. Um, I tried to mix the vocals in it. Um, EQs, not EQs, the effects, they look pretty. And they're not the prettiest sounding. <laughs> I actually, I brought some character out in his voice, um, which was pretty cool. Um, like, I'm actually thinking about keeping that vocal and using it as a hook. Um, but, yeah. So, that's it. Akai Force, three days in. DJ One, I'm in the building. I appreciate you guys for coming and checking with me. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? Stay notified. I'm still going to bang out the, the Force as long as... as is here uh, in my possession. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it yet or send it back. Um, but we got more tutorials coming. I got mixed tutorials coming. Um, I got NPC software tutorials coming. My, um, my website is up. I'm not going to give you the address yet because I have not finished doing it, what I want to do to it. But it's going to be pretty dope. I'm going to change 
the game the way beats are sold. Bottom dollar bet it. All right. So anyway, I'll let y'all later, y'all. DJ One, peace. Hey, we made the beat, y'all.